All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Call Loyam Labanawa Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Arakar Kudash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well, peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Bayath Dawada, the house of David. I'm going to get right into it. So this is Lamentations 5 and 2. It says, Our heritage. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. So, the word aliens, that, that technically means uh, strangers too. Uh, so let's go down here to Deuteronomy 28, 30, and 68, because these are the curses that are upon us as a nation. All right? And in this society, in this kingdom right here, Esau's kingdom, these curses are well upon us, man. It says, Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her, and thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and thou shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes. Thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy, it says, Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies, and thy shall have none to rescue them. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for, for them all day long. Alright, that's, hey man, that's when we was in serious shackles, man. Slaves, we was shackled up. Cattle, man. It says, and there shall be no might in thy hand, right? Because we, we ain't got no might in our hand, man. All right? Even into this day, you know? It says, thy, it says the fruit of thy land and, and all thy labor shall, na uh, shall a nation which thou knowest not eat, not eat up, and thou shall be only oppressed and crushed all way. It says, so thou shall be mad for thy sight of thine eyes, which thou shall see. It says, the Lord shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs and sore blotch and cannot be healed. From the sole of thy foot unto the top of thy head, the Lord shall bring thee and thy king which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there, sh and there shall thy serve other gods wooden stone. And thou shalt become an astonishment and a proverb and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. And thou shalt carry much seed out into the field, and shalt gather but little in, for the locust shall consume it. And there shall plant vineyards, and dress them, and there shall neither drink of the wine, nor gather the grapes, for the worms shall eat them. And thou shalt have, and thou shalt have olive trees throughout all the coasts, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with the oil. It says, "For thy for thy olive oil shall cast shall cast its fruit, and thou shalt beget uh, begot sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them." And we, and we don't here in this kingdom, even in in slavery, we didn't because we was in slavery. We was in physical slavery at that time too. All right, with the chains, the yoke of iron upon our neck, we didn't enjoy our children, man. They shipped our children to many different other places, many different other slave owners, man. All right, and we don't enjoy our kids here either now. Because why are we always working? We in slavery, man. We in modern day slavery. Mental, physical as well. You know? But more mental as well. But we don't enjoy our kids here. This place is this place is just complete hell. Alright? And that's why we and that's why we're looking forward for this place being destroyed by the Heavenly Father and His Son. When Yahweh Shai come back, we're looking forward to that, man. Lord willing, man. Lord willing will be a part of the elect, man. Because we don't know. You know, believe in our heart that hey, we, hey, we are part of the elect, Lord willing, we may be delivered, man. You know, but only time will tell. All right, only time will tell. It says, where was I at? It says, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for thou shalt go into captivity. All thy trees and fruit of thy land shall shall the locust consume the stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high and thou shalt come down very low it says he shall lend to thee and thou shalt not lend to him he shall be the head and thou shalt be the tail <laughs> 
says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to keep his commandments and statutes, which thou hast, which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and a, for a wonder. So that's how you know who the true Israelites are. These curses are upon them, man. It's not upon those fake uh, people over there in our land, man. These curses don't don't stick to them, man. These curses stick to the real people who are the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's who it sticks to, man. Stuck to them like glue. And these curses has been upon us for a very, 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 very long time, man. It's not like we just developed these curses. Oh, all of a sudden, these curses just came upon us. No, these curses have been upon us for a very long time, man. Very, very long time. All right? It says, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder, and upon thy seed forever, upon our kids. It says, because thou servest, all right, not the Lord, really. Yeah, how about Psalms uh, 79, 1 and 2, it says, a psalm of Asaph, O, o heavenly Father, the heathen are come into thy inheritance. The holy temple have they defiled. And they have laid Jerusalem on heaps. The dead bodies of thy servants have they given to be meat unto the fowls of the heaven. There you go. Birds and all that eating on dead flesh and bodies and things of that nature. It says the flesh of thy saints unto the beast of the earth. Right? Isaiah 1 and 7. It says your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land strangers devour it in your presence. And it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. Hey, and that's, that's what it is, man. We're not in our homeland. So guess who has our homeland? Our enemies, man. Our enemies have our homeland. And that's why the Lord is going to destroy that, that place, man. The Lord is going to destroy Jerusalem, man. Okay? It says, Isaiah 5 and 17, it says, Then shall the lambs feed after their manner, and the, worst, and the waste places of the fat ones shall strangers eat. Isaiah 63 and 18, it says, The people of thy holiness have possessed but a little while. Our adversaries have trodden down their, thy sanctuary. Uh, Jeremiah 6 and 12, it says, And their houses shall be turned into others, which their fields and their wives together. For I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. Ezekiel 7, 21 and 24. It says, And I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey, and to the wicked, to the wicked of the earth for a spoil. And they shall, they shall pollute it. Hey, that's what they have, but they... <laughs> Over there in Jerusalem, man, it's polluted, man. It's polluted. Polluted as hell. All right? And it's ran by the heathen, man. Amalek and all of them, man. It's ran by these heathen and these other nations as well, man. They parted our land amongst each other, man. All right? And if they were so-called delivered, or if they were so-called delivered into the land, why are you still fighting? When the Bible, the scriptures speak about there will be no more war on the earth when we're delivered back into our land, man. That's how you know that they false, man, that they're not real. All right, they're not the people, man. The people that are the Israelites are the ones that you look at every day, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Those are the people of the Lord, man. All right, let's continue on. It says, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make thy pump of the strong to cease. Right, that pump meaning their proudness, their highness. They're, they're riding on the high, high wave, man. All right, strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. In Zephaniah 1 and 13, last scripture says, therefore their goods shall become a booty, right, which it says, in their houses a desolation, and there shall also... And they shall also build houses, but not inhabit and not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. Wow. So with that, hey, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and well. Peace and blessings and salutations to the whole elect. Bayath, Dawadah, the house of David. Shalom and the Baba Ball.